What's up everybody? Hopefully you got enough light down here in the basement. So I just bought this Frable Citadel hut for this winter. It's my first time with the hut. Thermal lining, super excited to get it out. My problem with huts in the past is I spent a lot of time uh, parking and then walking it down pavement. I wear holes in the bottom of it. Uh, you can buy runners, but you know if you're dragging on a lot of pavement and across you know bare ice with no snow in it, you wear through them quick and they're expensive. 50, 60 bucks a pop and it really, you pretty much need new runners every year if you use them as much as me. So I just picked up some old skis. I'm going to mount them to the bottom here. I'm going to show you how. Now, skis aren't for everybody. You know, if I was walking with a hut this big, I'd probably build a smitty sled. A smitty sled uh, is perfect if you're walking, but being that I'm going to have it behind a snowmobile, um, I don't need that extra height. All I really want them for is to keep the sled itself uh, from deteriorating on the pavement. So I'm going to show you how I do it and hopefully you learn something. Alright, so materials for this project. Obviously you need your hut. You need some skis. Uh, you can pick skis up really cheap on Kijiji. I got three pairs of skis for 40 bucks. Easy. Um, in this case, I'm going to use three skis. A drill. Socket wrench. Pliers. Flathead stove bolts. Countersink drill bit. Washers. Loctite. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the bindings off. Here's a tremendous pain in the ass, but I got the bindings off. So what I'm going to do is just kind of line them up, get an idea of where I'm going to want them. Now, I want the two of the same skis, since I know they're the same, on the outside edges. And then the other one can go right down the middle. I think that's probably going to be safest for me. Alright, so the camera stopped filming, which uh, kind of hurts me a little bit here. What I'm going to do is kind of show you what I have done, and then I still have a couple skis left to go. I decided partway through that I'm actually going to go with four skis, just kind of based on the way it laid out on the sled. Um, so I do have two that are down currently, um, this one and this one on the outsides. So what I've done is I've marked off uh, four spots that I'm going to go for each ski. And I've drilled my holes and then I've taken the countersink bit here, uh, which essentially allows me to get this screw flush with the ski so there's going to be no drag. Um, there's, you know, this one I'm going to have to redo because it's not quite as flush as I want. It's not bad, but it might catch on something. I'd rather it be more flush. So I'll go a little more with the countersink, just letting the drill charge up. And then uh, I'm going to put these two skis on as well. Uh, so it should be evenly spaced. And I should be solid there. Okay, so now that all those holes are drilled, I'm going to go with the countersink bit. So like I said earlier, the purpose of the countersink is because of the angle on this screw, or on this bolt, is now... When I lay it in here, it's going to be flush with the ski because I have that angle drilled in to account for that. So now it's going to hold nicely, but it's also going to be flush. So there's not going to be that kind of drag. Okay, so at this point, I've got all the countersinks done for these two skis I got left. So we'll start the install. So I will show you so on the bottom of the sled here. You have these longer grooves. Now I'm not entirely sure what they're for. Maybe it's for the actual runners. Um, but I'm going to use these grooves as kind of a setup for the ski. Now what I was originally planning on doing is having this centered. But if I center it and it's just on this one little rib here, they, it, it was rocking. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep it down straight. Whereas if I put it on either edge of these ribs, there's going to be support. Once it's locked down, there's no rocking and it's going to stay 
stay straight and stay nice. So I'm using the curve of the ski with the curve of the sled and uh, should be solid there. Let's drill some holes and bolt these in. Get the stove bolt in, get a washer and a nut. And this is just awkward here, but I gotta get underneath. Hand tighten it on for now. All right, so that's the gist of it. I've got this in. So tomorrow, I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna fill the holes from the inside of the hut uh, with a silicone. Uh, in case I get into some slush, I don't want water leaking in at all. Uh, so before I actually tighten these up, right now they're just hand tightened. So I'll go back in, fill them with silicone, re-tighten them, and then I'm gonna add some Loctite to the bolt so that it doesn't shake loose on the rides. Uh, Loctite should keep it nice and sturdy, uh, but that's it. So this is going to keep the sled off the ground. Should keep it running straight as well. I still haven't decided yet though if I'm going to keep the extra bit at the end here or if I'm going to cut it off. Um, I'll let you know in the comments what I decide to do. I'll take it out for a test run like this, and uh, if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll just take a saw and just hack that back bit off. But... Uh, that's it.